Hello everyone, I am back. You know, I have a lot written down that God want me to say, so I have to be obedient. And um, it, it, there's some hard ones, there's some hard ones. It, it's not no... <laughs> and I just pray that it is received by the Spirit of God. Praise God, praise God. Let me know if you hear me, let me know if you see me. Praise God. Hallelujah. Let me know if you hear me and let me know if you see me. Praise God, praise God. Hallelujah. God is so good, people. You know, um, before I get to this one, I had an encounter with God last night, and actually earlier this morning. It's something about the presence of God that when you really truly get in the presence of God, you can't help but cry. You can't help but bow down because that power will make you bow down. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. And so this one is a warning to everybody, but mainly leaders. And if you're in a pulpit, this is your warning. I see death in the pulpit. God is so tired. God is so tired of the mockery. Um, let's just be honest. God is tired of the false prophets. Some of you, you ain't bit of the prophet more than the man in the moon. You just saw it on Facebook and said, hey, I can do what she do. Or uh, a lot of you pastors, and, and I just got to say it how God said, you ain't a bit more an apostle than a man in the moon as well. Some of you saw other people with the titles and y'all just ran with it. Tell me, I could do this. I can do that. You have cursed yourselves because if God did not ordain you and sustain you, then you are working out of flesh and flesh is a mess. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. You know, I, I, I'll be the first to say I didn't want this. I didn't want this. I, 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 I was talking to someone today telling them my story and maybe I should tell you as well. I've always heard God since I was 12 years old and I was scared. You know, I remember my, my grandmother, Noya Brandon, she the one told me, um, I'll tell you how it started for me. I had, um, in Abbeville, Louisiana, where I'm from, I went to somebody's house with her, and the lady was in the bed, and I looked at her, I said, Grandma, this lady's going to die. And of course, she died later on. And so my grandmother came to me, she said, you're a prophet. I just ran back outside because I didn't know what she was talking about. But what people didn't know is that I could hear God so heavy, like, all my life and I didn't understand it and for me you know especially after I got molested I just started drinking and I was I was trying to drown the voice and then drugs you know I was trying to just drown it because I was like I'm crazy they're gonna think I'm crazy but they never knew everything that ever happened to me I saw it happen I could see people before they die die I just I didn't know who to tell because I didn't know what was going on it wasn't until God sent me to California to I start opening up to these women and they girded my gift and they told me you're not crazy honey you know but you got to walk right before God because here's the deal and this is the difference between a witch and a warlock if you have the gift and you operating out of out of God and sin you become a witch Yes, that's why it's a thin line between a witch and a prophet. And that's why some people have been called witches. But when you walk in obedience, then you walk in the prophetic gift of God. And remember, it's God because God is downloading all the information. And so some of you, you're getting on Facebook and you're doing this stuff for money and you're doing this stuff for accolades and you're doing this stuff for likes. You better stop because I didn't want this. It's, it's here. So I finally accepted it. Because, you know, God whipped me so much. If you know anything about my past, God whipped me. until I, I was just like, okay, what do you want? You know? And he told me what he want. He want, want you, I want you to serve me. I saved you. I almost got killed six times out in them streets. He said, I saved you for a reason. Stop being selfish. And so I said, okay. I said, you're right. And I gave him my life. And I surrendered. And it don't matter who believe and who don't. Hallelujah. And so... I told y'all all that to let you know, this is serious. This ain't no game. Because I've seen, I had a prophet friend got killed for playing with God. I love that girl. And it hurt me so much. But I'm telling you, she got killed. Because she knew. And I was so mad at God. I said, God, why'd you do that? He said, you think this is a game, Deanna? Playing with God is not a game, people. And I'm telling you, I see a lot. I see so much death. Like, I see people falling down, dying. <laughs> I see people falling down, dying in the pulpit, playing with God, playing with God. This is not the time. Repent. If God didn't call you, stop getting up on here lying to the people. Because most of you are doing it for accolades and for money and for likes. The spirit of attention is so heavy in the body of Christ. You know, doggone well God didn't call you. 
just be who God called you to be. God may have called you just to clean the church. God may have called you just to um, take somebody to church. God may have called you just to usher, be an usher. God may have called you just to just to hug somebody. God may have called you just to love on somebody. That's still working in the body of Christ. But what y'all doing, that's death. This right here, this gospel, is life and death for real. Hallelujah. And I'm telling you what God said. You ain't got to believe me. Just keep playing with him. Because if y'all don't see that exposure, is, it's, it's high. I'm talking about you playing with God. That's something you should never do. But this, this generation don't know that. Because God have not showed you the wrath. But I'm telling you, as it thus said the Lord, God said the wrath is about to come. Why do you think this is getting ready to happen with the New World Order? America have fallen. America have forgotten their God. And I'm going to tell you what God said. He said they're going to remember me. Hallelujah. Y'all don't hear what I'm saying. God said they're going to remember me when they go into captivity again. Hallelujah. And I cried. I said, God. He said, Deanna, come on somebody. He said, ever, through, ever since the Bible. He said, ever since the beginning, I've had to show them that I'm God. And I said, yes, Lord, you're right. And it's the truth. Y'all know it's the truth. We get out of ourselves. We lose our mind and think that we can do what we want to do. And every now and then you got to show us by making that hammer fall that he's God all by himself. Hallelujah to his name. Isn't that sad? Because when this happened, God said the greatest thing's going to happen too. This bad stuff will happen. But people will come to God like never before. I'm talking about thousands. Some of, some, some of y'all families that y'all been praying for, they're going to come to God. You see, they don't believe right now. They, don't, they think I'm crazy, you know that. And that's cool. They don't believe. But I know right now that God is getting ready to do something remarkable. I'm just telling you, stop playing with God. That's what this video is about. God bless you. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. Please take heed. Please take heed. You don't want to be like Eli. Who was Eli? Google and find out. Eli let his sons do what he wanted to do until even he died. And Eli was a strong prophet all his life. To get in his old age and to allow his sons to to, to allow him to die like that the devil is a lie that's why I don't let nobody I don't care it could be family friends ain't nobody getting in my way of God because I'll be doggone if I if I serve God 21 years and then allow sin to come in the devil is a lie all right God bless you this is Apostle Deanna Dixon realize soldiers because that is who you are